right before Yom Kippur, and the Navi Yeshayo tells us that at the end of days, when the Jewish people are going to be tired, but oh, yearning, yearning, yearning to get back to the land of Israel, Hashem is going to bring them back on the wings of eagles. Very interesting analogy that we're going to be brought back on the wings of eagles. What exactly is this idea that, I sh- that we're going to be taken to Israel on the wings of, is- of, of eagles? So the nice interpretations brought by Rav Sham Shemofal Hirsch is that when the eagle carries its young, he carries its young on its back. Why? Because it flies the highest of all birds. So there's nothing to worry on top of it. The only thing it has to worry about is humans shooting arrows at it and the like. So it carries not below in its beak, because that the humans can still perhaps access. Nothing flies above it, so the eagle carries its young on its back. Other birds have to worry about the high-flying eagles, the predator eagles, they carry their young below. The eagle doesn't have to do that. The question is, how does this little baby chick get on to the back of the eagle? How is that possible? The eagle just tosses him on the back? No. The chick has to make the first move. The chick has to hop onto the back of the eagle. Then the eagle soars and carries the chick and himself to his destination. So too, when it comes to the ultimate geula, when we come back to Eretz Yisrael, Hashem is going to carry us. Hashem is going to make it happen, but we have to make the first move. We have to go ahead and hop on his back. We hop on his back, then he takes us, carries us, brings us to our destination. So too it is during this month of El, Rosh Hashanah, and now Yom Kippur, is similarly, when it comes to tshuva, Hashem wants us to do tshuva. He wants to embrace us. He wants to bring us into his cradling arms. But we have to make the first move. We take that first step. We bring ourselves close to Hashem. Ani lidodi. We move to our beloved, and then Hashem is going to take uh, take care of all the rest. So therefore, as we get ready for this very awesome day of Yom Kippur, just understand: we make the first move, we take the first step, and then Hashem is going to embrace us and bring us home. Have a wonderful Yom.